recognize or obsess about. So this is my gotta have it. And once you try it, you gotta have it, I guess pun intended, because it's not only brand sprank and new to the, the network as part of the prep on kitchen, but it's unique. It's, it's an, unlike anything I've ever seen in the kitchen category here at HSN. Not only does it have this great little non-slip grip on the back, uh, love this textured surface. You get this great little lip for all the juices of things and stuff, but here's its little secret. Look at that. There's a little um, handle. No, it's not a kickstand, but that all kind of folds together. And now, instead of prepping, throwing, prepping, throwing, you know, it's always the mess. You get this great bag system that allows you to keep your prep moving. It also allows you to save those scraps, you know, for composting, recyclables, whatever it might be. Remember, you do get some bags, but oh, if you if you want the extra bags, I'm going to tell you right now, the extra bags were a big hit at 12 noon. So A, you should try it. It's a feature price, but definitely get those extra bags. Laura, I have to defer to you. Um, this is another one. Big problem solver, isn't it? Thank you, Shannon. Yes, I love my prep board. This came from a place of, again, these are all solutions that I needed in the kitchen. So normally, this solves a huge problem of food preparation. So normally, when you prepare a meal, you have to deal with the food scraps on a regular cutting board. But when it comes to my prep board, usually they're like overflowing with shavings. And, but look, that's your thing up, right? So as you're going with my prep board, you just swipe it in it just goes right into the bag the board is super durable you have a really large surface space i can that entire head of lettuce i just cut and then you literally just sweep it right into the bag and if you're you know it's springtime we're all wanting to make salads right now this is really great because salads the shavings take up so much room so when you're using my prep board you don't have to pick up your board lug it to the garbage or your compost, dump it, come back. It just saves you so much time. It's efficient. I just, it really does change the game. I used to for years actually just chuck a, like a bag under my board. And it, I, I was like, there's gotta be a better solution. So even with a cucumber, for example, I love peeling my cucumbers or sorry, I love scooping the seeds out of my cucumbers because I feel like, especially if I want to prep my salad ahead of time, I feel like the seeds really kind of make the lettuce a little soggy, but they take up a lot of room, but now I can just keep going, just do my prep. I'm using my Santoku blade, scoop it all up, drop it into my mixing bowl. It just makes everything so efficient. And you know, my pro chef friends, they really, they talk about two things. They talk about, because even though I'm an Abbott Home chef, I want to feel like a pro, you know? And they talk about, you always want to keep a clean cutting board as you go, and you don't want to break your cooking flow. So what I mean by the cooking flow is, even though we're not in a professional restaurant, you want to be efficient. You want to be quick. You don't want to have to stop to take your board and lug it to the garbage or the compost. So with my prep board, you can just stay exactly where you are. You can stay in your flow. You can get your snacks made. You can make a meal, even if it's for a snack for your kids, a snack for you, if it's a meal for yourself or a meal for your family. I leave my prep board on my counter. I, I mean, you with the arm stores, so you can store it like any other cutting board. But I just leave mine on my counter because it's so beautiful. But the thing that makes mine different, oops, the thing that makes mine different than every other cutting board is that the food scraps go in and it comes with 20 of my environmentally friendly food prep bags. So this food, look at this cleanup. Let me just show you this real quick. So you guys saw all those food scraps I just put in here. So now this is your cleanup. Genius. So this, if you comp, if you happen to compost, you can absolutely, these are my bags can be used for composting. And also we're all trying to do the right thing these days. You know, it's like, I'm really trying to reduce, reuse as much as I can. So now you can feel good about how you dispose of your 
food scraps. Laura, it is so smart. I do want to stress, though, um, we brought in far fewer of the additional bags than we did even of the prep board. So just keep that in mind. Now, you are getting 20 bags with the prep board. Trust yeah. me, I'm going to tell you, you're going to say, why didn't, you know, who would have thunk it? I wish I would have thought of this. You need this. Whether you cook a little, whether you cook a lot, uh, I can tell you for a fact right now, this is going to be a time saver in your kitchen because it takes the frustration factor, the fear factor out of cooking. It, if you want it, do it. Remember, far fewer of those bags. There's that item number at the corner of your screen. And Laura, I think that's that, that's it. You know, we talked earlier about the fear factor when it comes to cooking. You know, heck, I'll just cut right to it. Sometimes it's the cleanup. Like, I love a fresh salad, but by the time right. you've cut and prepped everything, it's like, oh, gosh, all that stuff to clean up. So this is oh, double yeah. duty. Yes, it is. And also, you know, with these bags, I just... You want to be able to feel good, right? You want to be able to feel like we're doing something good, we're reducing, we're using. And not only am I trying to make your time in the kitchen more efficient, but to be able to feel good about what you're doing, it's just, that was really important to me for whoever gets my products to be able to experience that. And also, you know, when it comes to partier vegetables, we do a lot of cauliflower in my family. I'm always trying to get vegetables into my kids. But they take up a lot of room. They can be, you know, pretty bulky. So, but look at this. Look at this easy cleanup. I love it. Laura, I wish we had more time together. Um, oh actually, gosh, that's oh, our no, time. Honey. It's uh, not fair. Hey, um, that Santuku knife that Laura's demonstrating, the lids, the pan that I wanted to have in my show, all of her goodies are on hsn.com. Laura, I got to tell you, you inspire me. I made your ginger shrimp recipe earlier. And girl, I'll tell you what. You are a force to be reckoned with in the kitchen. We love you. We I love, love you. that recipe too. It's so good. Thank you, Shannon. Well, Laura, we'll look forward to seeing you back here hopefully soon. We love you. Be safe oh, out there. Thank you for having me on your show. This was so much fun. Thank what, you. What a pleasure. Have a great night. Uh, by the way, if you go to my Facebook, um, I will be, with, with Laura's permission, sharing some details on that ginger shrimp recipe. Uh, so I'll give you a little sneak peek of that. We can also get you $10 off if you apply and buy. On that HSN card. Um, and no kidding, whether it's her pan, whether it's a Santuku knife, whether it's those lids, I'm telling you.